I'm Dylan Brody, humorist, storyteller, purveyor of fine words and phrases. That's what I do for, I tell stories for a living. I don't do a lot of pitching, but sometimes I have to pitch. I won't go into the whole pitch, but the premise of the show was you take the 12 greatest swordsmen from around the world. That is to say, fight directors and choreographers, as well as fencers and reenactors and martial artists, and you move them into a castle. And each week they learn a new weapon, a new period weapon. Uh, they do skills challenges. There are fights. The loser is eliminated. Next week they learn a new weapon and so on. At the end of the season, when it's down to two, the castle becomes a character and the whole thing becomes an obstacle course. And the winner keeps the castle. The show is called Castle Quest. That's the premise of the show. And I pitch it to this... Uh, I, I'm guessing he was by now in pre-K. In any case, I pitched to him in his office. And he heard the pitch and then said, so what's the hook? And I said, well, there's sword fighting to win a castle. And he said, yeah, I don't see why that's compelling. I mean, maybe if they win a girl at the end, you've got something. And I said, I'm not even sure that's legal in the States. <laughs> and he said, well, we don't have to shoot it here. And that wow. confused me a little bit. And he went on to say, look, maybe this is a little too on the nose. But possibly, if someone got hung in the last episode, then you'd have something. What? That's what I thought. I thought this has to be a joke. He was, he so was, he, I said, then we'd have to take it to Fox. And he was not joking. He said, oh no, we're Buena Vista. This is a Disney company. As though I was the one who was out of my mind. And I said, okay, well, it was good talking. He said, well, do you have anything else to pitch? And I said, you know what? Yes. What if? Instead of a small child behind a big desk who ruins the days of accomplished writers, you were some sort of an alien life form <laughs> who devoured the souls of spirited artists and crushed the bones of their muses to suck out the marrow. And he said, what? And I said, you know, you're right. It's probably a little too on the nose. So my point is... Did you really say that to him? Yes. And he didn't get it. Oh, he did not get anything. He was the most humorless human being you will see outside of the McLaughlin Report. How, how old was he really? I, I would say 20s. He was, you know, early to mid-20s. How did he get that job? I have no idea. But the fact is, everyone you pitch to is coming into it with preconceived notions of what's going to sell and what's going to make it. And most of them are there because that's where they wound up in a struggle for an artistic career uh, that they couldn't quite manage. So now they're making decisions and trying to add their ideas to what is already an idea. And there's a certain point where you just have to be able to say to a person, you know, this is not a good match. You know what, I'm a funny human with a really cool idea and you're sort of a mouth breather. But the real point is this. You are pitching them, but you're pitching them your idea. And if your idea isn't something they can possibly get, you don't need to stretch it all out to make it fit onto their bloated sense of importance. Let it stand as it is and be ready to have enough faith in it to walk away from somebody who has a checkbook and no clue. <laughs>